Math 31, I had a question on section 5.2, number 61. And in number 61, we were given a whole bunch of traits for a polynomial, and we were asked, hey, once I give you all of these traits, can you actually tell me what the equation of the polynomial is? So if we want to just get some gut feelings here, let's start to look at these. I, I have a y-intercept at 0, negative 4, so I know I'm down here. I have an x-intercept at negative 2, 0. I've got another one at positive 2, 0. It says the degree is 2, so that means I'm looking at a quadratic polynomial, or you can think of it as its graph would be a parabola. And then it also gives me some end behavior. It says as I move left, I head up. So I'm over here somewhere. Ooh, I don't know why that made that fun shape. All right, as I head left, I go up. Here as I head right, I also go up. So if I had to guess, I'm going to just change colors here for a moment so we have some contrast. I think the function looks something like this-ish, but I got to figure out what's going on. And, and they also gave us uh, another piece of information saying, assume the lead coefficient is 1 or negative 1. Okay, so I, I can figure this out. Oops, excuse me. All right, so anytime I have a quadratic let me change this back. I'm having all sorts of fun here. Anytime I have a quadratic equation, and I say quadratic because the degree is 2, I'm going to have two x-intercepts, and I have that, that function, or not that function, that constant out there, that stretch factor, and we usually call that A, right? A is some constant, and B and C are the x-intercepts. So as I start to work this, I was told A would either be 1 or negative 1. I'll keep that in mind. But I was given B and C. I was told over here that B is negative 2 and C is positive 2. Those are my two x-intercepts. So you see me plug those in right here. And when I simplify this a little bit, x minus a negative 2 is x plus 2. And this is x minus 2, just like we would see. I can FOIL those together. And now I'm looking at a more simplified function, right? as opposed to this one that I started with over here. Okay, well, this is all good. So at this point, I'm down to, well, I know f of x is some constant, a times x squared minus 4. And at this point, you can do one of two things. You can say to yourself, well, the problem said the lead coefficient was 1 or negative 1. And since this parabola is an upward-facing parabola, you know that your lead coefficient has to be positive. So if we have to, ooh, I can't even spell parabola correctly today. I am on fire. Uh, so if we know that A is either 1 or negative 1, well, if you have an upward-facing parabola, you know the answer is not going to be negative 1. So I could just deduce that A was 1 at this point. But another way to do it, and I think a, probably a better way to do it, just to practice future um, problems like this, is it, it told you the y-intercept was 0, negative 4. So what I can do is I can plug in 0 for x, and I can plug in negative 4 for y, and that'll allow me to solve for a. So you see me doing that over here. And as I solve for a, sure enough, a is 1. So then my function just simplifies to x squared minus 4. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.